I will take an ugly win over a pretty loss any day of the week. And that's exactly what the Baltimore Ravens had to do against those Houston Texans in their 25-9 to defeat uh, over them in their week one matchup. Uh, there was a lot of sloppiness from the offense. There was some from the defense as well. Not, not nearly as much from the defense as there was from the offense, though. Ooh, it was rough. There was a bunch of penalties. Uh, there was the false stars. There was this, that, and the third. And we're going to talk about all of that. Um, but then there was, a, unfortunately, the injuries, too. Uh, and the injuries sort of not necessarily took away from the win, but it just it kind of dampened the win a little bit because it, it made you like we happy that we won. But it's sad because we're missing some key guys. And J.K. Dobbins, as of this recording, because I'm recording this on September 11th at 949 a.m. As of this recording, the only one that's been confirmed is J.K. Dobbins. He's out for the season with a torn Achilles. With Marcus Williams, we haven't gotten that diagnosis yet. With Tyler Linderbaum and Ronnie Stanley, we just don't know yet. Uh, by the time you see this video, we'll most likely know, but we just don't know yet. So hopefully we get some better news on those three guys. I think we definitely will with Tyler Linderbaum and Ronnie Stanley. But with Marcus Williams, that's one that I fear is just, I think he's going to end up being out for the season. But I would love, I would love, love, love to be wrong on that. So hopefully I am. But we are going to start with the Baltimore Ravens offense. But before we do, let's hear a word from our sponsor. Looking for calorie conscious options this busy football season? I know I am. Try delicious, dietitian approved, calorie smart meals with around 550 or less calories per serving. Or do you just need an extra boost to support your wellness goals this fall? You can try the Protein Plus meals that feature 30 grams or more protein per serving. This September, give Factor and enjoy eating without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor packed meals delivered right to your door. Ready in just two minutes, no prep, no mess. Factor has so many different nutritious options that keep your fridge well stocked. They even have smoothies and juices that are a perfect snack option. They just make it so easy for you. And you know what? Let me show you how. That's it. That's all it took. But how can you get started with your Factor meals? Well, let me tell you. Just head to Factor75.com or click the link below and use code ENGRAVEN50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Again, just head to Factor75.com or click the link below and use code ENGRAVEN50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Ooh, and let's start off with the Ravens offense. And shout out to the Texans defense because they were all over, man, with the blitzes, with just the consistent pressure. They, they were not so shout out to the Texans defense but with Ravens offense just starting off with Todd Munkin um this was his debut game for the Baltimore Ravens and it went all right it went all right it wasn't the greatest but definitely wasn't the worst at all um the running game mm, the running game it left a lot to be desired obviously J.K. Dobbins he ended up going out but even still with J.K. Dobbins in um, the running game just never really took off like that. They had what, 32 rushes for 110 yards, and they averaged 3.4 yards a carry. Now, the most important thing did happen from the running game. They got touchdowns, and it's all about points. It's all about scoring, and Justice Hill got two of them. J.K. Dobbins, of course, he had the first one, uh, so that's what matters most. Uh, but overall, the running game, it left a lot to be desired, and I think these numbers really got inflated. Uh, from Lamar Jackson I mean it's part of the run game but he had six carries for 38 yards um, but the rest Gus Edwards had eight for 32 average four yards a carry now so that was so good but J.K. Dobbins he had eight for 22 average 2.8 yards a carry and Justice Hill had eight for nine he averaged 1.1 yards a carry uh, then they mixed some Zay Flowers in there too he had uh, two rushes for nine yards and he so he averaged 4.5 yards uh, a carry but I guess with the running game, that really leads us to the offensive line because the offensive line in this game, it was rough. It, it, it was really, especially in the first half, it was rough. Um, there was a lack of blocking. There was a lack of protection. There was a lot, lack of push uh, up front by them, and it just, it, it, it was rough. Uh, but again, this was the very beginning. This was their debut together because they hadn't played uh, in the preseason. They saw that the, the starters were all playing together for the first time. So this was real on-the-job training right here. Um, so that did really have a big impact on the game. Lamar Jackson got sacked, what, four times? Yeah, four times. He got sacked four times. Um, and that's a lot. That's a, that's a lot of sacks to give up. Now, the Ravens got five sacks themselves on uh, C.J. Stratt, but no, <laughs> we talk about Ravens offense. Lamar to get, for Lamar Jackson, for him to get sacked four times, that says a lot, especially because you know Lamar Jackson's ability. 
So, and there was a lot of times when he did have to evade defenders in the backfield because they, they would always be in the backfield. There was sometimes when some guys would come untouched, and it was like, well, what is going on? A lot of times the Ravens' offensive line, they were just letting guys like run right past them. But in the second half, they brought out Pat Ricard, and Pat Ricard helped a lot. A lot. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> he helped so much, man. And Ravens needed all the help that they could possibly get on that offensive line. Um but that says a lot about him. Uh, and that also says a lot about Munkin because adjustments. That was a big adjustment that the Baltimore Ravens needed. Uh, so making adjustments is the name of the game. That's one of the things. And, and in my opinion, that's one of the reasons I think they moved on from Greg Roman because there was just a lack uh, of adjustments that the Ravens would do, especially coming out of halftime. Now, I would love to see adjustments from first to second quarter or even drive by drive. Uh, but it's like, OK, if that doesn't happen, at least at halftime, it has to happen. It is of the essence. It's so important. Um, and we we saw that. Uh, with Lamar Jackson specifically, his numbers, his game yesterday was solid. Looking at the numbers, they were okay, uh, but the game, it, it, it was solid. It wasn't the worst, definitely not the worst, but it was, certainly wasn't the best. It wasn't great. It was solid. Um, he went 17 for 22, 169 yards, uh, and threw that one interception uh, on a ball intended for Zay Flowers. Uh, on that pass, he threw to him, but he had a defender wrapped around his legs, wrapped around his feet. Because uh, the pressure <laughs> came right in uh, As we were so used to seeing on a lot of dropbacks yesterday um, But what I liked from Lamar Jackson in the game uh, Just the, the spreading the ball around uh, Throwing to all the different levels uh, of the defense uh, Throwing to all the different levels of the field and whatnot I, I did like that And I think with Mark Andrews out uh, it, it really forced like Hey, you ain't got the security blanket And you got a lot of new guys A lot of new weapons that you ain't got as much like I mean he ain't gonna have nearly as much rapport with other guys yet that he has with Mark Andrews because that's been years in the making. So their rapport is out of this world and it's great and we love it and we can't wait for Mark Andrews to be back. Uh, but now it was time. All right, you really got to use those other guys now, and we saw him really use those other guys. We Todd Munkin must be the biggest fan of Zay Flowers because boy they were using Zay Flowers a lot, a whole lot. And Zay Flowers looked really good. Now, there were some times where I um I felt like they could have used Zay Flowers to they, and to sort of build it up throughout the game and then use him as a decoy. But <laughs> they really use him as a decoy. And what I mean when I say that, they could have been feeding Zay Flowers, giving him opportunities. And he was making the most of the most of those opportunities. But they could have kept feeding him, feeding him, feeding him, and then made it look like they were feeding him, but then end up going somewhere else uh, on some of the plays. Uh, I thought that, that was a, uh, that's an opportunity that they can do and use in the future. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Um, but Zay Flowers are nice, man. He looked really good. My favorite play from him was when he hit that spin move, and he did it like so effortlessly, man. Uh, I know, again, they called him the joystick, and, and I see exactly why. I mean, Zay Flowers, I mean, we call him Shifty, but Shifty is like, I feel like that's so basic. Need a better word for that to, to take Shifty to a whole nother level because Zay Flowers is that, man. The man was crazy. On, the, on one pass, I thought Zay Flowers was about to get whacked. Uh, well, Zay Flowers was running up the sideline and Lamar threw it to him. And Zay Flowers caught it. And I, well, I thought the safety was about to take his head off. But he didn't. And that was a, that was a great catch by Zay. A nice concentration catch. Because uh, some receivers could have been scared. They could have been like, oh, man, I'm about to get whacked. But he didn't flinch. Like at all uh, So Zay Flowers had a really good game Odell Beckham Jr. Um, he drew two pass interference calls uh, And then he had two catches One was on that uh, that little comeback route On the I think it was on the left side of the field And then when he made that catch Because Odell Beckham Jr. He, he was waiting <laughs> That boy was waiting When he made that catch He said finally Finally Because yeah he, he was waiting a long time And then that, that deep pass uh, That he caught too um, over his shoulders Placing the perfect spot that, That's another thing Back to Lamar Jackson now There I don't recall Because he missed five passes One was an interception uh, And then another incompletion was The Charlie Cola drop I don't remember what the other three were But in this game I don't recall any like Oh man wow Who's Lamar throwing to or, Oh man wow what, Who was that intended for I don't recall any of that And then And there were some deep passes That were in this game So that was nice to see. Um, we talked about chemistry earlier. He has chemistry with uh, Mark Andrews. Like, nobody can touch that. 
But it, the chemistry in this game, it looked like it was pretty good with the, the other guys, too. There were some passes where he had to scramble. There was a lot of times where he had to scramble. But where um there was one to, I think, Rashad Bateman, where Lamar like had to scramble to the right, and he had to throw it uh, to the left or toward the middle of the field. Uh, and it was on point, throwing across his body. Rashad Bateman, I love how Rashad Bateman came back and got the ball. Uh, he looked good in the, in the couple of passes that he caught. Just the receivers, they look good. Nelson Aguilar, I don't think he had any catches. Isaiah likely had one on a screen pass, I believe. I was hoping he was going to make the guy miss, but he didn't, and it's all good. Uh, but, again, it's a work in progress. It's, it's, it's a brand-new offense. It's, it's, it's going to take some time uh, to really get this thing going. Remember when Tom Munkin said, hey, we are, we, we are far ways off. We are a long way off. <laughs> yeah, Todd Munkin was not lying at all. I was thinking, all right, maybe Todd Munkin just saying that to try to humble these guys, but no, he was telling the truth. Um, special teams, I mean, you know what time it is. Justin Tucker, uh, Jordan Stout did his thing, uh, had some nice punts, but yeah, special teams, they, they just are the epitome of consistency. Defense, defense, while going against a rookie quarterback, uh, Patrick Queen, he set the tone, man. Patrick Queen really set the tone. He had a nice game. Roquan Smith had like 15, 16 tackles. Uh, had the pass deflection early on in the game. That, ooh, that would have been nice if that was an interception, but it's all good. And then um, he had the sack too. He had the sack too. Ravens had five sacks, yeah. So they were they were getting after uh, David Ajabo. Uh, I love how they took advantage of that right tackle. The Texans' right tackle got hurt. Very next play on his first play. On the, on the backup right tackle, very first play, David Ajabo caught him slipping, forced fumble. He got the sack, the sack strip, and knocked it out of uh, C.J. Stroud's hands. So that's what it's about, man. Adafi Away, he looked good. Again, Adafi Away was close. He was getting close, so it's, it's coming. It's coming. So he, he, he was getting real close. So that was nice to see. Um, then that defensive line. That they, they, they defensive line was doing their thing. They they had some they gave up some little runs here and there, but nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. You know what? Let me actually look at the numbers from the Texans running game. Yeah, they had 23 carries for 72 yards. Uh, so yeah, Ravens defense, they they were holding it down, man. The longest run of the day was eleven yards, but that was from CJ Stroud, the quarterback. And that boy, he's like sneaky elusive, man. That I, I think he's gonna be good, man. He he was nice. He made some really good decisions. He did not have any passes where it was like, oh, that was almost an interception. He ain't have none like that, not that I can recall. Um, but that he gonna be he gonna be solid, man. Especially as the team grows and they start really giving him uh, weapons and stuff like. Yeah, he he gonna be even though he had some nice weapons like Nico Collins was doing his thing. <laughs> it feel like he had like fifty catches yesterday. Let me see how many he had. Oh, he had six catches for eighty yards. Oh yeah, Robert Woods, Tank Dale. Yeah, they so actually they they do got some uh, some decent receivers over there. They not the greatest, but they certainly not the worst at all. So he got a nice little core to start off with. Um, but yeah, he he was really good at decision making. But Baltimore Ravens, um, the pass rush, it was on and off. Um, they did send some blitzes here and there. Uh, and Baltimore Ravens in this game, one of my favorite things that I saw from them was some open field tackling. Ronald Darby, he made a really, really nice open field tackle early on. Uh, Malik Harrison, he made a really, really nice open field tackle. And that was that's so important. Stuff like that is so important because when you one-on-one and all that pressure's on you, all eyes are on you, especially when it's like third down or something, you got to get a stop. That's big, man. That's, that's really, really, really big. So Ravens defense, again, every, all this stuff is a work in progress because this is week one. This is week one. But to see the Ravens offense, the Ravens defense, to see the sloppiness that there was on, at times on both sides, um, to see the penalties that there were at times on both sides, but the fact that they still came out of this game uh, scoring 25 points against that defense, that was solid now. But to, to, to see all the sloppiness and they still end up scoring 25 points, I like that. Because that lets me know, like, hey, when they clean it up, ooh, ooh. And, again, it's early. It's week one. So they're going to get this thing going. I'm, I'm not overly concerned, like, oh, man, oh, this offense, or, oh, man, this defense. No, no, no. I, I'm not overly concerned. It's week one. It's literally week one. They ain't play no preseason. So I, I think all of us should sort of temper expectations a bit. Of course, we, we expect them to improve. We expect them to do better. We expect them to be better. And the turnovers, like with uh, Lamar with the interception, can't have that. Uh, with the the fumble Where the ball just straight up got knocked out He's trying to make a play And that was a great play by that uh, Texans cornerback He said, Lamar, you ain't about to shake me And keep the ball Walk! Knocked it right out of there And then with Justice Hills Like, hold up, Justice we, love you. we You scored two touchdowns He was like, hold on, he got a little jealous of Lamar He said, Lamar, I'm about to make you look bad Pop! 
I'm knocking that ball out. But hey, mistakes happen. It's okay. Um, so they they should be fine going forward. Um, so yeah, that's that's that, man. This was a uh, it was a fun game. We, we back is week one. The Ravens are back officially. NFL is back officially. And now let's just look for steady improvements for this team moving forward.